What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won our second badge, the Forest Badge from Gardena, and now it is time to do a little bit of a side quest right here. Now, if you guys remember, we got ourselves the HM01 cut from uh, Cynthia a while back. Now that we got the very first badge, we are unable to actually cut any kind of tree we want. Unfortunately, we didn't even uh, teach anybody that, so we do have a Pokemon for that special occasion. Yes, the legendary Beedoof right here. The ever lovely uh, HM Slave right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a few, you know, a few side quests with where the cut's at. And, uh, and then I think we're going to visit a haunted house, I believe. And here we have uh, two Oran berries. Delicious berries, you know. Tequila Pokemon right here. And here we go. Cherry berries. Always so lovely. Cherry berries. Awesome. Equals awesome right there. And uh, here we go with the Bluck berries. Bluck berries. Bluck berries. Bluck berries. I don't even know. And uh, here we go. Two raspberries. The double entendres right there. I don't even know. And so we're going to be moving right here and uh, talking to the list lady. She's like, oh, you're collecting accessories. Here we get ourselves a big tree. Um, again, going to the fashion case, not much of a fashionista or anything like that, but yeah. So if we go right here, we'll be able to find the silver powder, which actually powers up any kind of bug type Pokemon. And then uh, this one right here, the TM82 Sleep Talk. Very, very good for any kind of Pokemon to use if they're asleep. It actually enables them to attack uh, and well, attack any kind of Pokemon with any of its attacks and stuff. If you guys get my draft. Okay, so let's go right here. The Eterna Forest. And right now we will be able to find the Eterna City Gym Leader, Gardena. And she's telling us about a haunted house right around here. The old chateau. Talking about old ghost type Pokemon and whatnot. And uh, yeah, she just came to, to for investigation. She's not trying to admit that she's, you know, scared. But she is. She's really scared. You know, she's a big you-know-what. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, cut this off right here. We got the balls. We got the conies. We got the stones to go into a haunted house. Attack it straightforward and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do right here. And, uh, let's see. We're going to grab this item, the ether, which is also good. And, uh, well, we're going to go inside. Now... This is the place where you can actually find ghost type Pokemon right here, guys. Uh, different levels, different areas. Uh, not much to it except just a few items here and there. You'll be able to find some honey in these boxes. Um, there's a Pokeball right there. And there's a rare candy. Now, here's another cool fact about this place. If it's nighttime, you will be able to uh, capture a pseudo legendary Pokemon right here, which we will be doing in just a little bit. Um, if you guys want to capture a uh, Ghastly, this is the place to go. And here we have a Big Pearl, which you can actually sell for big, big bucks. Lots of bucks. Ah. And, uh, let's see. Huh. Oh, yes. Another thing. Uh, this one right here. You can actually get yourself the Old Jetu, which I believe heals up any kind of... Uh, well, it's a one-of-a-kind thing that can either revive or heal all status wounds or anything like that. Not much of a point right here, but this place is kind of weird. The song is weird and all that stuff. I think you can actually find a like you can actually find a ghost around here or something. Now, if you do have any kind of Pokemon Fire Red, Leaf Green, or any kind of Game Boy Advance games on the on the second slot of the cartridge of your Nintendo DS, you will be able to find a a Gengar right around here. That's what I'm told. Now. As you can see, there's a TV that's flickering right there. That's the place to go uh, if you guys want to capture that pseudo-legendary Pokemon. But remember, it has to be nighttime where it can actually start uh, what, haunting any kind of uh, machinery. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. So just go straight to the TV that's flickering. I'm going to save my game right now because, yeah, this is like probably a one-of-a-kind Pokemon right here. So come on, save my game. There we go. And, uh, well, let's see. What Pokemon is it? Oh, crud. So I don't really have the right Pokemon to actually go after it, but we can try. And as you can see, there appears to be a Pokemon. We're hitting it. And bam. Look at that. Legendary Pokemon music. 
And here we have Rotom, or Rotom. The, I guess it's a ghost and electric type Pokemon that actually haunts any kind of machinery and then takes its form. Um, it's a level 20, you can actually capture it uh, pretty easily. Uh, just make sure to have the right Pokemon for this because yes, this is one of a kind and as you can see, Bite Attack is super effective against this guy. So now, I'm, just, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Hydra number four. Try not to attack it pretty quick, or try try not to hurt it so badly to where it loses uh, all its HP right here. And this guy's going with an uproar, so strong it's ridiculous. So let's go with the tackle attack. Does not work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So let's see. We're switching it up right here with the Star Blade. We're gonna lower its attack right here, and uh, well, I really don't want to attack it one more time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and capture it. And luckily for us, we do have a Dust Ball, which could it could be super effective right here. It's darts, semi cave, that kind of stuff. Three, come on, and there we go, guys. We captured ourselves a Rotom. Yes. What now? We're not gonna use them on our team, by the way. Alrighty. Okay, Rotom. The plasma Pokemon, electric type body that can enter some kinds of machines and take control under uh, in order to make mischief. So it is a very, very mischievous Pokemon. Okay. And I believe uh, later on in this game you can actually find uh, a certain area that you can actually change its format. And uh, we will be doing that later on. Now, like I said earlier, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it's in the next room, but if you do have a Game Boy Advance in the second slot of your Nintendo DS, um, you will be able to actually capture. I think there will be a, a what was it? There will be a uh, a level three or maybe level five Gengar that you can actually find around here. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comment down below uh, what the what the whole thing is. As you can see, that little portrait right there, it turns red every single time we walk away. I don't think it's that one. It's the other one. It's the next room right here. I think it's this room. Yes, it is, I think. I don't even know. But here we go. TM90, substitute. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it right there. Hmm. So is there anything else that we need to find? No, nothing. So that's pretty much it right here for this area, guys. Uh, I believe there was a haunt. There was a little girl there that you can actually find there, too. But that's just a ghost. And, uh... The pseudo legendary Pokemon, you know, wrote them, and that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, yeah, that was our little uh, side quest for the day, right here. I'm glad you guys are enjoying my videos on Pokemon Platinum and all that stuff. So, in the next episode, we'll be going after Team Plasma. So, see you guys in the next episode.